Good morning and welcome to the Algebra Do Now 13.1 video key. This is your first Do Now of the new trimester. Uh, so you will notice that I've asked some questions about a document that I shared with you called Levels Data Spreadsheet. Uh, and so I do want to know, did you bookmark it? Have you bookmarked it? Maybe you don't even know that you have it, so make sure you go find it. So at the end of that question, go make sure you've got it. So you'll have it shared in your email. So you can search for this phrase, levels data, in your email, and you'll find it. Okay, once you have found it, please bookmark it. So like here is the document. I've made a fake student here. This is a student named Nita Finish. And Nita Finish needs to take care of some stuff, as you can see. Um, Nita has information about her equations levels here, uh, and then she has information about her functions levels, and then she's going to start having information about e linear functions and systems of equations, and all of this is live, and you can continue to upgrade and revise things throughout the year. I'm going to be adding to this. It'll be a quick go-to to see what you still need to take care of. Uh, if there is anything you need to take care of, uh, you'll have uh, you'll have um, just one second. That is your timer. You will have uh, color coding. Blue means you are meeting. Green means you're exceeding. Yellow means to do. Olive means it's optional, like those E things. Purple means you need to revise it, and you need to revise it. Revising is expected. Um, red means I've received it, but I haven't graded it yet. You can comment here. Um, and since I'm dealing with a lot of data, it's really useful uh, to comment and just tag me on something that you've completed or you have a question about. Uh, to tag me, you just put plus rward at mcauliffecharter.org uh, in the comment, and you'll be able to assign it to me, and I will get a notification that you have done a comment um, let me know if it's because you finished it or you just have a question or something in between, okay? All right, so let's go back to the do now. Once you've taken care of all that, make sure you watch the quick video tour that I emailed you. Um, and now there's some places for you to ask questions, and then we get into some content questions. What do you think a linear function might look like on an XY table or set of ordered pairs? Answers will vary. However, the basic thing that you're looking for on a table or set of ordered pairs is a regular repeated addition or subtraction pattern in the y values as they relate to the x values. Okay, so you have a reg and for every x value goes up one, uh, y goes up by six, or every x value goes up one, y goes down by 0 0.3. You've got a linear relationship here, a linear function in a table. Okay, if you go walk a constant speed of three miles per hour, that's the average human walking speed, how long would you travel if you walk for two and two and one third hours? Well, we can um, work that out. It's going to be three miles per hour times two and one third hours, which will end up being seven <clears throat> miles because two and one third times three is seven miles. Okay, so, and the miles does matter because it's a unit uh, involved and we, you know, we want to make sure we're not talking about badgers or something else like that. But seven miles, all we had to do is multiply three times two and one thirds. Three times two is six, and three times a third is another one, so you get seven. Uh, which of these would represent a linear function that would model the situation in 6a? Well, if d is the function for distance in terms of time, and t is time, then d of t would equal 3t. We have a visitor from my one of our cats. She wants a lot of attention right now. So that one works. D of t equals 3 over t would mean 3 divided by your time, and that's not going to work. Uh, 2 and 1 third times time, that's the time. So that would end up being time times time, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And D of t equals t plus 3, so that would be hours plus 3, which doesn't work either. Uh, so none of those would work. The only one that works is D of t equals 3t, because that's distance equals speed times time. Okay, which of these... 
ordered pairs will be true for the three mile per hour walk function. So what you want to look for is y values that are three times the x value, or should I say d values that are three times the t value. So the first number in each ordered pair is the domain or t value. Um, so take a look at zero. Zero times three would certainly get you zero. So we can rule out these middle two. Then let's take a look at another point. Zero times one, I'm sorry, three times one. Three times one will get you three. Three times two will get you six. Three times three will get you nine. So that works. All right, let's check out the other possibility, the other candidate. So one times three, oh, that doesn't equal one third. That's one divided by three. That's this function, uh, actually not any of them at all. So that would be um, one divided by three, one divided by nine, or one divided by three squared, one divided by three to the third. So that's some, some other uh, function than what we're looking for. All right, so just a reminder, grades did close Friday, but you can still upgrade and complete your work. Uh, you should do this for homework instead of during class since we're starting a new unit. Uh, the practical deadline is really Wednesday uh, for me because um, <clears throat> beyond that, I'll be super busy just writing comments and organizing everything. But please let me know if there's stuff you need to take care of, what you need to do, and how you're going to get it all handled. And set goals today. Our goal, our main goal today is to uh, take care of linear functions level one, which is a pretty straightforward and simple one, and then get started with linear functions two, which involves ultimately a couple of testing out, including a Desmos activity, which is a laser cannon battle commander game. Um, I hope that all helps.